Hey, what's up, everybody? This is the one and only AD, the Travel Child, and you're watching Travel Child TV here on YouTube. And for today's episode, I'll be reviewing Osher's Rack for the PlayStation 3. It is the uh, latest release from Capcom, as uh, developed by CyberConnect2, who are, who are known for the uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm uh, series. And it's also powered by the Unreal Engine 3. Unreal Engine 3. And now before I begin, as I explained in my last uh, game review, I'll rate the games from 0 to 5, with 5 being the highest, based on plot, graphics, uh, controls, in-game extras, replay value, and hype. Norm normally I also uh, re uh, review the game with um, in the online and DLC department, but since Ultra's Rep doesn't have a online mode, not that I'm complaining at all, and the DLC has, hasn't been released yet, I'll be uh, doing doing a separate video um, on the on the DLC when when they when they are released. Now that I got that out of the way, let's take let's take a look at Ashura's Rap for the PlayStation 3. You traitorous! You! It wasn't me. I have decided to save what this is world. Wrong? What? Great rebirth. Father! Mithra! Deliver. Your death shall be the foundation of my new world. Now the story of Ashura's Wrath begins with the main character Ashura, a demigod and one of the eight guardian generals who fight for the realm of Shikoku and defends the world of Gaia from unearthly uh, destructive beings known as the Goma. After returning from a fight against the Goma, Ashura was summoned to the throne of, em of Emperor Strada only to find the Emperor murdered and accused by his fellow Guardian Generals for the crime he did not commit. On the run and unjustly branded as a traitor, Ashura runs home only to find his wife, Durga, also murdered and his only daughter, the Priestess Mitra, Mitra kidnapped. Out of pure rage, Ashura confronts his former comrades who has child captive only to be single-handedly defeated by the leader of the eight Guardian Generals, Deus who refused to himself as the slayer of the Emperor to bring out the Great Rebirth, using Mitra's divine power. Dea sends Ashura uh, to fall down on Gia to die, only leaving the fallen hero to swear revenge as he crashed down to Gaia. 12,000 years has passed. Ashura rises from the underworld Naraku to extract his revenge on Dea and his former fellow generals, now known as the Seven Deities and rescue his daughter in his sci-fi mythological action adventure. While based, on, while based on ancient mythology blended with science fiction, according to producer Kasuhiro Tsuchiya in an interview with X-Play Links, the plot settings as well as the main character has similarities with the God of War franchise as well as the main character Kratos. The Ashura has similarities with the God of War games as and their, and their main characters, who are in a serious need of anger management, seem to be intentional in my honest opi opinion, or uh, purely coincidental, but I could be wrong. Despite of all, the decent story mixed with the anime style setting makes up, uh, makes up for it in this action adventure. Each episode in this game allows for you to play it out like an anime, with credits, bumpers, and previews, in which I thought was very innovative. Though the story drags on, uh, there are several uh, uh, plot twists in the game that actually keeps the keeps the the story moving until reaching to the final episode in the game, as well as the true final episode that can be unlocked by meeting certain conditions during gameplay. I don't want to spoil the true final episode or how to unlock it, but I can tell you it can keep you guessing. <laughs> Being developed by CyberConnect2, who are best known for the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series, and powered by Unreal Engine 3, the graphics and animation looks fluent and fast-paced. As amazing as Ashura's rep is visually, the frame rate can sometimes slow down depending on the activity during the cutscenes and the uh, gameplay. But above all, uh, the character and, and environment designs are very unique and are, ortho and are orthodox. Excuse me. The, 
The mixture of traditional Asian mythology and futuristic themes with the over top action really makes this game stand out. Now that I think of it, the last time we fought like this, <laughs> you were still my pupil. You were wild, unfocused, and had the eye of a beast. Even then, I knew that someday you would become the opponent I had been waiting for. I hope you don't disappoint! <laughs> The sound effects, music, and voice acting the Asher's Wrath. The music, uh, the original score in this game matched perfectly with the theme. And I especially love that At Atoyan uh, Dufarak's Sympathy for the New World is played during the epic boss fight battle with Agus, one of the, of the seven deities. I also enjoyed the dialogue we which features some notable voice actors including Liam O'Brien as Ashura and Stephen Bloom as one of the seven deities Sergei, to name a few. The voice acting fits well with the story altogether. The sound effects are loud, uh, crystal clear and over the top as the graphics and gameplay itself. Ashura, we the seven deities have chosen to bear this world on our shoulders. before in the demo, the controls and the uh, Inoshra's rap are very similar to the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm series, particularly Naruto, Naruto Shibuten Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. The only difference is the controls are challenging and it'll take some time to get used to. Depending on where you are in the game, in the game there are three play styles. Um, free roaming fighting, shooting, and quick time events. Now the free roaming combat is a uh, uh, pretty basic. You have your lock on target options, command prompts and counters, as well as the combos. And you have to be uh, quick when you, uh, when you uh, do the uh, do a counter during the command prompts. Because if you put because if you miss or push the wrong button, you won't get hit and, uh, and uh, take damage. The the combos are simple, but on the downside, with any of the combos with with heavy attack, which is triangle for the uh, PS3 version. Uh, you overheat and can't use heavy attacks for a brief minute unless you feel your ultimate gauge with the da damage you give to enemies. And when and when activated, you can perform heavy attacks at your heart's contempt. Now, as far as now as far as the shooting portions of the game of the uh, game, unlike free roam combat, the only way you can lock on enemies during the free fall and running battles is by highlighting the target cursor using your control button to fire homing uh, projectiles. Rapid Files is great when uh, the fighting enemies on the run or in the air, but targeting can be a real pain in the ass. When uh, fighting or shooting, the damage you give and take fills up your burst meter. When activated, you can perform quick time effects to inflict some serious damage and get to the next portion of the game when done correctly. Press the wrong button command, it can cause damage and it can affect your score when, uh, when, when completing the mission. The only issues I have with the controls when performing the quick time events during burst mode you, is you only have like a quick second to, uh, you only have a quick second to perform and hit it at the right time because if done too quickly too too late can affect your scoring process in the game. Lock on target can be a real hassle in free in free world combat, especially when you're dealing with more than one enemy surrounding you. The controls are decent. But as I said before, it takes a lot of getting used to. Not much is not much to say on the in-game extras. Depending on what rank uh, you get by completing the episode, you can easily unlock character bios, uh, concept art, and CG movies from the episodes you completed. In addition, you can also unlock various life and birth 
applications each have its own attributes. Now as of this recording, nope, the DLC for Oculus Wrap has been released as of yet. However, according to IGN.com, uh, there was a Capcom released an image of Ryu from Street Fighter going against Ashura in the Street Fighter style fight. It was a tease to be, tease to be uh, one of the several DLC packs for the game. Now, uh, not, too, not, not too long after, uh, Capcom had confirmed via Capcom Unity that the, the substantial DLC installments including two anime inspired episodes to help flesh out the story between the chapters of the main game as well as Ryu and a mystery Street Fighter to appear on a future DLC pack. The release dates for the, for the DLC after this recording is yet to be announced. In the meantime, for the sake of this review, I'll break down the uh, uh, Ultra Shrap DLC in a separate video when all the DLC packs are released. <laughs> value in this game is pretty much a mixed bag in my opinion. I mean, why complete the game in 5 hours or normal mode, including the true final chapter, I unlock all the cutscenes, all the bumpers, concept art, and character bios. I yet to attain all the trophies and gauges as of this recording. Once completing the game in one difficulty, whether if it's easy, normal, or hard, you can uh, tackle the other ones to attain everything in the extras mode. Other than that, as great as Ashura Ref is, I don't see myself playing this for years to come, especially if you already unlock everything in one playthrough. When Ashura's Rap was first announced at Capcom's Captain of the Show in 2011. There wasn't much hype despite the internet trailers and a downloadable demo prior to its release. At first I wasn't too excited about the game, but after playing the demo last month and uh, did my impressions on it, I was impressed with the graphics and gameplay. It still, it's a shame that a decent game like Oshawa's Rap didn't get as much hype or promotion back when it's announced. Now before I wrap this up and give this game a final rating, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, when you pre-order this game for GameStop, uh, you'll get you'll get this uh, this um, nice little booklet here telling you about the you know, just just playing the art of Ashura's Wrath. You know, just basically some concept art um, as well as uh, character bios. But if you flip it over to the other side, just a, a mildly hilarious uh, comic of Ashura's Wrath where Ashura sees a therapist for his, you guess it, his anchor. Alright. Now so 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 let's no so let's uh, wrap this up. Uh Ashra's Wrath. No. No, I like I like the story, it's great. And I really like the graphics, especially with the Unreal 3 engine. Uh the sound and the dialogue is is amazing. Pretty much pretty much the best thing about this game. However, you know, however, the controls are difficult. The the frame rate changes from time to time to time. The end game extras are too easy to unlock, and the replay value, mm, not so much. So, so with that being said, it's time to um, uh, rate this game. I give a plot of four out of five. Graphics, four out of five. Sound, five out of five. The end game extras, three out of five. Replay value two out of five and hype three out of five. So so given an overall score, a decent overall score of four out of five. Now despite the the now despite the the controls frame rate and poor replay value, Ashura's Rap is still a decent game to play, 
and even though you know it's not as challenging as I thought it would be, it's one of the most fast-paced action games I ever played. And I recommend it to any Buster Master who wants a hands-on, speedy action game like Osher's Wrath. So that's so that's about sums it up. Uh, thank uh, thank you for watching my video. And if you want more Travel Child TV, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe to support the show. So as always, this is the one and only AD to Travel Child. Keep it locked. Now, with, with Bleach coming to the end, you know, I hope, I hope, you know, I hope you no know, big fans of the series, including myself, that the show, that the show as well as the manga, will end with a bang. But as, but as far, but as far as the uh, as the live fashion Bleach movie goes, I would not even bother. You know, if got it, if got it in, in the series, and then soil the legacy of Bleach by by making a live action movie. You know, I mean, I mean, no, I mean, no, no one's gonna see that shit. I mean, really.